Hi, everybody. Hey there. It's Martin from Novaflex. And Matt Hill from Novaflex US. How are you guys doing? It's good to be back online. Ah, it's good to see you, Martin. And have so many people registered to get to know more about our modular camera support system. Isn't that a great thing? Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. Today, I I know I say that every time, but it's, it's sincere. I'm excited. Uh, this is a great topic. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of insights for people. Um, while you guys are getting in and getting settled, do us a favor and introduce yourself. We want to know where you're coming from in the chat. So tell us where you live. Uh, and if you want to say anything else, please feel free. Keep in mind that you can ask us questions anytime. Just drop it right in the chat. Uh, there are scheduled Q&A times. And maybe once in a while we'll drop out if we see something that's totally topical and answer that for you. Exactly. Yeah. So, And in the impossible event that we can't answer a question right now, we will shoot you an email afterwards. That's right. We answer all questions. Exactly. And we hope that you do have them because uh, this is, this is a, a rich topic. There's a, there's a lot of opportunity to solve your problems. Um, your support I, problems here. Hello to California. Hi, Robert. Hi, Paul. Hi, Brenda. Welcome, one and all. So we want to say thank you to everybody for showing up on time. We appreciate you. So we're going to jump right in. Um, If you're just getting here, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, This is being recorded, uh, and the replay will be posted afterwards. You'll receive a link via email. Uh, So... As a as a thank you for all of you who showed up on time, here we go. Uh, we're going to jump into the presentation. So once again, hello everybody. Hi Robert. Hi Paul. Hi Casey. Uh, let's talk about the Novaflex modular camera support system, and you will. Uh, experience later how modular the system is and uh, why we're not calling this a tripod system at all. And I think the very first picture that we have here on the first slide explains why we are calling this (laughs) not a tripod, but a (laughs) camera support system. Don't you agree, Matt? That's just that. That's what really turned me on to saying this is this is an opportunity to solve all of your problems. I mean, it goes way beyond the word tripod. Did any one of you ever saw a tripod with uh, suction cups attached to it instead of the usual legs? Did no. you, Matt? No, not not until you showed me this photograph. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's go to to our next slide. Uh, we already oh. introduced ourselves. That's us again. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Okay, so that's the topics that we'll cover today. We want to introduce you to the Novaflex modular camera support systems. We want to show you what configurations are possible. Um, of course, what cameras are possible. And we're doing a, a Q&A uh, with us uh, afterwards. After we finish this presentation, we also have uh, some videos where we'll configure some of these uh many options that uh, the system offers us, uh, well, sort of life. Okay, uh, in this world of high ISO, deep fusion and LiDAR, why would I still use a stable camera support at all? Isn't that a good question, Matt? And um, while we were preparing for this presentation, you mentioned that, uh, you mentioned uh, something interesting about tripods or or camera supports at all that you always uh, tell your uh, workshop uh, participants. Why don't you just repeat that or repeat what you said? Yeah, sure. I'm going to, I'm going to jump out of the slide for a second because I want to be eyeball to eyeball with everybody here. Um, This I've, 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 I've made my own belief over the years and that's why I share it with other people. Um, If it touches the ground, don't cheap out on it. That includes good shoes. Let's say you're going outdoors and hiking or even walking around, a good mattress, tires, and tripods. Uh, You will eventually replace them either because you didn't spend enough or with regret because it's either your comfort or your safety, right? Um, In the case of support gear like tripods, um, vibration can kill the thing that you're trying to craft. So it's, it's, it's vital. It's absolutely vital uh, to choose right and to choose well. 
Okay. Let's jump right back into our presentation. Uh, we have prepared a couple of use cases uh, to walk you through why you should use a good tripod or stable camera support at all. And um, let's jump right into the first use case. And uh, we have an image here from from Matt Hill himself. Um, okay. um, it was, uh, I think it was shot with some long exposure times. Why don't you just explain how this, this image came to life and why you did rely on a good good and stable camera support uh, to create this picture. Sure. So this is this is one image of many from my series called Night Paper, where I create uh, handmade paper fashions for people to wear uh, during long exposure portraits at night. This is on a rooftop in Midtown Manhattan, where I combined uh, three light sources, uh, actually four, the ambient light, uh, a portable speed light with a grid on it, um, a flashlight for a little bit of edge lighting and a pixel stick. So within this one single exposure, all done in camera, I managed all of those different light sources uh, so that the, the portrait subject would pop out just the way that I wanted. Uh, so how many tripods were involved in creating this, this image? Was it like two or three? Uh, this was only one tripod. One, Everything just one else, tripod. All the light sources I carried around in my hand. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Yep. So that's 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 one of the use cases why you would uh, want to use a tripod. And the second one is uh, definitely it's it's macro photography, and um, we we've, we've covered macro photography with Noflex items in some of our earlier webinars, some of the webinars that we did throughout the year, and yep. especially focus stacking. So if you uh, are involved in focus stacking. And in, uh, if, if you're creating macro images with, with very high magnification factors, you definitely want to use a, a tripod to um, avoid uh, any kind of vibration. Uh, Matt, you, you were using some of our uh, focusing rails yourself. Um, do, do you have something to, to, to add? I was going to say that every millimeter counts. Mm -hmm. And if your support system moves at all, uh, it may affect your ability to create a completely crisp, focused stacked image. And it, it becomes more important um, the higher the magnification factor gets. Um, with yeah. uh, the setup that we are showing here, we're able to create images in magnification factors as high as 50 times life size, which is which is a pretty high magnification in, 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 in terms of macro photography. Truth, so truth. So that's our second use, use case. Then we have um, filter photography, something that's uh, quite popular these days using using square filters, uh, which which results in in uh, very very long exposure times again. Yep. Create images like like these here, which were taken in in the north of Germany throughout one of the many photo festivals. I think it was last year or the, the year before that. And then we have um, the interesting uh, topic of uh, panorama photography, uh -huh. where you want, where you would usually uh, rotate your camera uh, around the center of the entrance pupil of of your particular lens, creates several images, and um, you're later stitching these images with a with a special software called a, a stitching software, and. Yeah. Did you do panorama photography yourself, Matt? Oh, I do a ton of it. I, you do a ton I, of it? Uh, yeah, I do a ton of it. I, mostly at night. 99% of my work is done during dusk or full evening or darkness. Uh, so my panorama stitching is, has that extra complication of there being little to no light around. But yes, I, I do nodal point panorama stitching all the time. Okay, and is it, is it a single row panoramas that you do or is it multi-row panoramic images? That you primarily, primarily single row. Uh, but when the Milky Way gets higher in the sky, uh, as you get further away from May to June, you need to do a double stitch so that you can get both the landscape and the Milky Way in that stack. Okay, so that's that's another um, use case that you would want to use a tripod if if you're not shooting your smartphone, which. Uh, <laughs> Which I, which I guess most of you are not using. Right. Well, then uh, there's a studio and product photography. Um, that's that's another one of those use cases. Hey, Mark, 
I'm going to stop you for one second. Uh, sure. If you could speak speak up a little bit, we have some notes in the chat that uh, that they want to hear your voice a little bit more. Uh, okay, um, sure. Um, then there's the studio and product photography. Is, is that better? Well, they'll let us know in the chat. Okay. Please continue. So yeah. then there's a studio and product photography. Um, our very own uh, photographer that uh, is working for Novoflex is using a tripod uh, for each and every image that he creates. He's using uh, our uh, stepping motor control focusing rail because he, um, he's using focus stacking even more in product photography these days. Uh, he's using this focusing rail in addition with um, this bellows attachment that we are showing here so this also requires a very stable camera support mm -hmm. and uh if you're involved in um well wildlife photography or sports photography you're using um telephoto lenses with um well high or longer focal lengths let's say 300 400 500 or even 600 millimeter focal lengths you um you know that these lenses can be pretty well heavy uh you would certainly want to use a, a camera support to to support these lenses if you don't want to carry them around all day long true um do you want something to add um no i said that's just true okay cool so um the the, the next question that uh that we want to ask ourselves or that we want to ask you guys is so what's so modular about the Novoflex system and why do we insist on in calling it the camera support system for this webinar? That's, that's a good question. And um, uh, we want to jump right into it and show you what's so modular. Um, maybe a short explanation first. Um, Novoflex came to the, to the game of tripod manufacturing quite late. So we had to ask ourselves the question, how can we, uh, can a Novoflex camera support system or a Novoflex tripod stand apart from the competition, sort of? So um, we uh, came up with the idea of, um, well, why don't we create like a whole bunch of different like tripod base units and just um, um, make them, well, different from from the legs, so, so that uh, the photographer or the user is able to s just swap legs depending on what he's trying to achieve with his photography, what he wants to do, what what type of camera he wants to support. So in this image, you can see all the different um, tripod base units that we created from from the smallest uh, on the left-hand side to, to the big boy, the Triopod Pro 75 on the right-hand side uh, that Matt is using in his studio. He will show us uh, this big boy in action a little while later. And well, that's, that's, what, that's the idea that we came up, it, up with um, after, um, well, thinking about uh, how can we, can we uh, do things different with, with a tripod. Um, so uh, uh, the last slide had all the uh, different base units or the spiders, as we like to call them. And in this slide, you can see the different leg models that are available. Um, naturally, we have uh, legs in uh, carbon fiber and aluminum available. And there's there's mini macro legs. Uh, the one in le the leg that's right in the center is called a mini macro leg. That's a very stable leg if you're working very close to the ground and if you want to support your camera in macro photography um, then we have then these legs are available in either five section four section three section or um, yeah two section legs there's they're also available which enable you to um, well use different working heights and then there's even extension rods available so if you if you want to further extend uh, the individual leg units, you can uh, use the extension rods. Um, Matt was trying this in his studio. You did, right? That's, oh, yeah. That's yeah. what you mentioned earlier. So I, if you want, yeah, please go No, ahead. I was going to say, like, my, my favorite use case on that one would be when you have a crowd of people and you need to get up above them. Uh, it's either for, for film, or for video, motion, or or stills it's extraordinary you just bring a, a ladder with you 
<laughs> exactly. Well, um, there's there's a lot of our customers who who are actually carrying ladders uh, around when they're using tripods, or uh, who always have a ladder in their car when they're uh, out and about um, to go shooting. Right. So that's 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 another good use case. Okay. Um, well, the uh, smallest uh, tripod uh, base unit that we have is the so-called basic pod, and uh, to actually illustrate its its size, we we put it right next to a dollar coin. You see, so it's 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 a very tiny uh, tripod tripod base, and it's it's also very it's also very lightweight. It's only um, uh, it, it only weighs one point eight ounces, so it's it's pretty lightweight. You can carry it around in your in your pocket, and well, um, the these these tiny mini macro legs that we have here, they're also very lightweight. And uh, I have I carry a bunch of these legs in my tripod bag each and every time that I'm that I go out and shooting. So that's um, the the simplest and smallest tripod base unit that's available from Novoflex. We call it the basic part. And it's available uh, in the kit, come, uh, and it comes with uh, well a set of of these three mini macro leg, and it's it's quite stable. You can even step on top of it. Uh, we we will see this later in the in the little video that we prepared for you guys, and it's definitely a cool thing if you want to want it to be as minimalistic as possible. Okay, um, <clears throat> here's another use case. Um, it's uh, the basic part again. Um, if you are an avid hiker, you probably uh, uh, go out hiking and uh, you're using hiking sticks. Um, and you can, e you can even attach hiking sticks as legs to the basic part. Uh, as you can see in this, uh, in these two images. So we're using two, uh, two of the Novoflex folding hiking sticks and a carbon fiber leg. So it's, uh, it's as minimalistic as possible. So you go hiking with the hiking sticks and, uh, when you need a tripod, you just, uh, unscrew the, the, the two handles that are on sit on top of the topmost uh, segment of the hiking sticks. You just screw them, screw them into the, uh, basic part, uh, tripod shoulder, so to speak, and you start so shooting. This is for when every ounce counts, right? Exactly. That's what it is. So everything you have to carry in your backpack is the tripod shoulder, the third carbon fiber leg, and um, a mini ball hat. That's it. That's it. Because the right. hiking sticks are, well, naturally, they're in your hands while, you, while you're hiking. Right. Okay. So um, the uh, probably the most modular... Um, support base or the most modular spider that we have in our um, assortment is the trio pod base uh, that's the that's the base unit on the front and um, in comparison to the basic pod base um, it has a different um, diameter and it a different weight of course it's uh 0.7 pounds. That's how heavy it is with, without the legs. But that's the um, that's the first of the um, spiders that we're going to cover. That's uh, that you can use with with all the different leg versions that we've seen in one of one of the first slides. Could you just bring bring back that slide with the different legs? Oh, we're gonna have to go back a little bit. There we go. There you go. Exactly. So all of the triopod spiders that we are going to cover can be used with all the legs you're seeing here, with the exception of the basic pod, which can be used with uh, the mini macro legs and the hiking sticks only. Okay. So let's let's go back to the basic pod. Uh, no, the trio pod. So that's the trio pod. Um, you have you can set. Um, uh, different leg angles at 20, 40, 60, and 87 degrees. So if you want to go very close to the ground, you can just spread the legs uh, to almost 90 degrees. And um, the second tripod base that we offer is the uh, Trio Balance tripod base. Um, in comparison to the Trio pod base, um, it, it has the same diameter, but it also offers um, 
an extra well leveling ball, a half ball, which has a uh, an adjustment of twenty degrees to to either side. So, so if you're into uh, panorama photography, or if you're working with let's say a gimbal head that supports mm-hmm. your uh, telephoto lens, you uh, s- certainly uh, at some point in time need to level that equipment, uh, f- especially in panorama photography, because you will, you will want to avoid uh, having your panorama that um, well. Is, is not leveled at all, which makes it difficult in, uh, in post-production and stitching these single images. Anything to add, Matt? No, no. I, well, I, I have this one thing that I would like to add. Um, what about people who prefer to raise their center column? It seems like the TrioPod has an option for that. The TrioPod has an option for it. Um, the, are you referring to this one or the TrioPod M, the brand new one? Uh, this this that one has has the 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 three leg stage that can raise it, up exactly for for, yeah. for this one for this tiny trio pot uh, we do we do offer an option that is uh, we we call it like like a like a base elevation um, it's it's like a uh, a three leg thing that um, it, it's uh, it's a it's a plate that's connected to let's say three rods uh, which yeah. slide into these uh, three little holes here and it gives you an add extra uh, eight centimeters of height so you're if you're working in macro photography sometimes you need um, some some extra millimeters of height uh, right. where you want to adjust your focusing rail or your ball head <laughs> and that's 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 an accessory uh, that's mostly used by macro photographers understood Okay, so here's some uh, extra use cases for the trio pod. Um, uh, the left left image uh, sees the trio pod with the mini macro legs and a, and a magic ball uh, very close to the ground. And the rightmost image um, has another interesting use case, two legs and a... Um, and a little ball head that's attached to a clamp so that we're able to get very close to our subject because the, the third leg would, would um, well, prevent us from getting that close to that uh, rusty thing, whatever it is. <laughs> now, they, this is amazing. These, these are all things that you've had uh, up until these are, now. The, and these we these have are a, parts we have of a, our, in, in our assortment, right. Right, but we we have a a new addition to the system that we're working exactly. our way up to, right? I don't know if we made that clear at the beginning. It was in the invite to everybody, but there is a new baby in the family, and we're getting to it shortly. Yep, exactly. And Matt was referring to it. He was asking about a center column because um, um, that little thing that we were, we were talking about with the three little blue rods is is not a center column in the true sense of the word. <clears throat> But, um, okay, let's uh, let's go a little bit further. But um, for all uh, those of you who are are looking for a, for the actual, for a true center column, there's a new baby in the family, as Matt called it. It's the Triopod M. And the Triopod M uh, allows us to use a center column. If you want to increase your height a little little further, you can just... um, pop out this little ground adapter here and just insert a center column to the standard base unit. So that's that's the new baby, the Triopod M. That's cool. And well, the, the, the M could stand for modular or for uh, the German word, word for center column, which is Mittelsäule. That's where oh. the M comes from. That's why we call it the Triopod M. And if you are not want to, if if the um, center column is is in the way of getting close to the ground, you just uh, take it out of the uh, base unit itself. You just pop in this little um, flat adapter here, this little ground adapter. It just slides slides right into into here. Oops! Come on! Oops! Okay, it slides right in here. Nope. Yeah. And 
Now you can get very close to the ground. Uh, it uh, offers the same um, different leg angles of 20, 40, 60, and 87 degrees. So this is a is a, is a highly modular piece. And of course, you you are uh, you can attach um, each and every one of these 13 different leg models that we showed in one of our uh, earlier slides. Now that's always been my beef with with most uh, tripods. It's like the center column is useful when you're like you absolutely hit your limits and you need to go up above. I usually keep my tripod down at where it's it's strongest, mm -hmm. you know, with the center column touching the tripod spider. Um, I like the engineering on how you guys have have adopted this to have it channeled on the side and gripping on all sides, but the not having to be forced into something that can't achieve uh, full contact with the ground without really jumping through hoops uh, to to unscrew too many things. It just it, it 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 makes me happy to see that this is an option. Thank you. So that's that that's another uh, point why we came up with this little uh, ground adapter. So it's it's as small as possible as it could possibly be to get as as close to the ground as possible. Yeah. So. That's what you were referring to. Okay, here are uh, two use cases. Uh, as you can see on the on the right image, um, this this guy is a he's a famous uh, wildlife photographer from Germany. He's he's not using the center column at all, but on the uh, left hand side we have we've attached the center column and we've also attached uh, two of the mini macro legs to um, the. Uh, lateral threads um, the base offers um, several uh, lateral threads here and here and you can uh, just screw in two of the mini macro legs the tripod comes with to just uh, simply attach your backpack as some sort of uh, further stabilization if you're working in let's say very windy situation um, i'm pretty sure matt uh, you're familiar with those situations uh, in your work with natural parks at, at night yeah, definitely. And in addition to that, uh, the ground isn't always dry. If the dew point breaks or it's just rained, it's nice to not have to get mud on your backpack or to keep your, let's say if you're in sand dunes, to keep that, your bag as far away from the stuff that could get into your camera lenses or your camera as possible. Exactly. If you want to flip lenses or if you need uh, to attach a filter or if you uh, want to maybe take out a rem remote control or whatever right. uh, accessories yeah. you might want to use with your camera while yeah. on on a tripod nice. so that's 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 another cool feature okay here's here's another setup with one of our uh, auto bellows on top of the triopod m and uh guys if you are familiar with our ball heads um the triopod m has uh, the same base diameter as our classic ball 5 while the um triopod has the same base diameter as our classic ball 3 so the medium sized classic ball and the big classic ball they will perfectly match those two spiders here wow Okay, and then uh, there's uh, Matt's new baby, little baby, <laughs> or the big baby, uh, the yeah. Triopod Pro 75. That's uh, that's our biggest uh, tripod spider that we offer, and it offers some some cool features. So I I have it here. I can show it to you in comparison to the Triopod M. So it's it's a whole lot bigger. Yet it uh, offers some uh, some cool features that the other um, spiders do not offer. Of course, you can just use a standard uh, Allen wrench, and you can whoops, which comes with the the tripod kit. Yes, it comes with the tripod kit. You can just take out the top plate here, and. Now this uh, Triopod Pro 75 will accept uh, any um, 75 millimeter uh, accessories that are out, that are out there in the market. We uh, we as Novoflex offer a um, magic balance um, um, leveling base that can be that will 
countersunk into the base unit. We also offer a geared center column that will uh, fit right into here. We also offer a half uh, bowl to add some uh, special heads that you would use in a cinematography or uh, other use cases. So it's it's a pretty cool thing. And uh, some of you will have noticed that um, the leg connectors have a greater diameter in comparison to the smaller uh, spiders. So the smaller spiders will accept legs uh, that have a um, up, upper segment uh, diameter of the upper segment of 28 millimeter, while uh, this big guy here uh, will uh, come with um, or can be used with um, legs of an upper segment diameter of 39 millimeter. But um, yeah. Matt, um, you mentioned earlier that you have uh, one of these uh, tripods in your studio. Why don't you show us uh, the the tripod and uh, maybe, well, the tripod in action? Sure, sure. I'd be delighted. Uh, give me one second to, to sure. switch cameras. Please do. So. Okay. So now we're just going to switch cameras. Hey, oh, would you look at that? There it is. I'll be there in one second. Look yeah. at that. Let me just eh, get untangled here. All right. So this is the TrioPod 75 at full height. This is my face. There's the tripod. <laughs> um, I was I was delighted to see just how tall this tripod can get. Uh, now, this is without any extensions. Um, and gosh, it, it packs down incredibly small when, when you're thinking about just how beefy this tripod is. Um, it does get small. And unlike a lot of these gigantic tripods, it does do a full reversal on the leg in addition. Now, I'm just trying to show you that. So if I wanted to go travel tripod style on this, I could. Um, like I said, this, I was also, uh, yeah, this I'm comes listening. in, this comes in handy. If you have attached the uh, geared center column, then the legs will just completely fold around the, uh, attached center column. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I, I am dreaming of that center column and I'm probably going to pick one up because, uh, when I do repro work, um, part of what I do, the, the objects get so large sometimes that I'm constantly up moving my tripod up and down to go from the overall shot, the detail shots of these art artworks. So yeah, um, I also have the the balance. Like you said, I have replaced the middle of this to have the balance here, and I swap it in and out um, between the classic ball five and a magic ball, uh, depending on what I use it for. And I know my face is hidden right now, so um, so yeah, I've I've I'm falling in love even more every time I use this uh, because the my specific use cases uh, can vary depending on when I'm making art or doing commercial work. Um, and I can outfit this instead of being a tripod plus accessories, it's a system. And I think that's the point that we're getting at here, Martin, is that um, I can pre-visualize what my needs will be on a shoot and just change the pieces that I have and only bring what I need or the extra things that I might need to help me do what I need to do. And if I need to pack out, let's say I, I grab my big old Shimoda 60 liter bag, I don't have to leave the tripod outside of the bag. I can completely disassemble this and have the strongest possible tripod with me, but put that stuff on the inside in case of inclement weather or the worst case scenario is when I get on a plane and I have trouble getting in the up the overhead bin, I can just pack this stuff inside and they don't look at this and say, Oh, you you're um you're a jerk because you have a tripod on the side of your bag. So you really have two carry on things instead of one carry on thing. I could go on, but those are the things at the top of my brain. Exactly. You could just uh, put the uh, spider or and, and the attached tripod hat to your carry on and the legs will go into your suitcase. And yep. that's it. Yeah, it's funny because I usually put tripods into my suitcase, but now I can actually save weight in my suitcase by just putting the legs in there and putting the spider in my bag, which is about the size of a lens. 
Exactly. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah. And anytime I want to downsize, you know, I can swap out these legs for something else. Um, and I love the leaning tripod idea uh, because sometimes I do shoot close to a wall. And, you know, we've, we've kind of shown this before, but being able to just take this and put it against the wall while having the tall legs there is, has turned out to be really valuable when I'm doing uh, close-ups of something uh, and even macro work. It's just so fun. Exactly. That's, that's another option. You're not, you're not just having a tripod, you're having a macro pod, you're having the leaning pod, you're having a monopod. And the leaning pod is something really special. You can lean it on a wall, you can rest it on a table or a counter or wherever. So it's, yeah. it's a cool thing. And I, I remember us uh, having used this particular tripod can configuration uh, when we shot some videos in your studio last year. Yeah, it's uh, it is it is it's got an amazing capacity, and I think that on our next slide. You have an incredible example of what that capacity could mean to somebody. Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like about 140 pounds. It's 140 pounds that this uh, big guy is able to support, and that's a lot. <laughs> right, right. It's a, it's remarkable. Like, uh, I think you have the best example possible of, of when you might want 140 pounds. Uh, and I'm just switching locations here. Hey, I'm back. All right. Uh, so let's go back to our slide. Exactly. That's uh, wow. That's one setup that's, right that's pretty heavy. Um, I previously mentioned um, a gimbal head to support long telephoto lenses. That's a double gimbal head that Novoflex is also making. Uh, we call it the Falcon because it so closely resembles a bird with the two wings. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, that's, that's some uh, hefty equipment. Um, we combined it here with the Magic Balance Pro 75. Um, it's... Uh, being countersunk into into the spider. Okay, here's the geared center column. That's that's another accessory that uh, that's an optional accessory that could be used with the Pro seventy five base. And here's the attached half bowl with a. Um, with a um, special ball head from uh, the German company Berlebach. And this Berlebach, uh, ball, this Berlebach head uh, comes with an, with an attached ball underneath. So it, it, it has integrated leveling. All right. So th this is a good time to talk because you're showing it here. We talked mm -hmm. about putting the macro legs into the attachment points on the spider. But maybe we should dwell a little bit on that. Um, and just point out that there's both three eighths of an inch and quarter twenty holes on the Correct. spider for attaching accessories, not just the macro legs, the the stubby legs, but um, other things that you might have in your possession, like a video monitor if you're shooting video, or an arm to hold something macro out in front of your lens, or a reflector, or even an umbrella over your camera because it's raining. Exactly. So everything from rods, articulating arms, everything that has a quarter inch or um, three eighths inch thread can be attached to the to one of the lateral attachment points. And, right. and I'll, Good I'll point. add this one thing is that when I put the leveling base into the Pro 75 Spider, one mm -hmm. of those holes is specifically engineered to accept the arm with which you lock down the 20 degree bowl in there so that it's it's just seamless it looks like it's part of the tripod and it's always been there but the engineers figure out ahead of time that we can use this this hole for two purposes and one of them is to pass through the lockdown for that bowl and i thought for the locking seamless. lever yeah you unscrew yeah. the locking lever from the magic balance and you just uh, it sinks yeah. into the base and you just uh, go attach it back onto yeah. the base yeah. okay so like this good is, point this, thanks to me that this just goes right back to where you started when you're making the original point that this is a system it's not a tripod it's an it's the way for you to support the things that you need to make imaging thank you very much
well done. Okay, here's some other examples that have been sent in from another uh, wildlife photographer here in Germany. Um, he, the uh, picture to the lower picture to the left um, illustrates how close you can get to the ground with that uh, big boy. Um, on the upper picture, he has been attached some articulating arms that would ma that's what Matt just mentioned, um, some articulating arms and some clamps to sort of camouflage his tripod to avoid um, the to avoid him being seen by some wild animals. And um, the picture to the right illustrates the uh, some the um, possibility of just flipping around the legs. So you can so if for example you have um, mounted the uh, geared center column. And you want to get close to the ground in an instant, you just flip around the legs. You just don't have to unscrew everything and um, bring it back in from the other side. So that's that's a that's a nice little feature. Uh, Brenda made a point that you could get even lower with a leveling head instead of a ball head. Um, absolutely. By replacing the uh, classic ball with the leveling yeah. ball, you can get even lower to the ground. But I, I love this inverted gimbal. That's just, that is so cool. <laughs> There's so many solutions. Okay, so um, um, what this slide here illustrates is that um, um, most of the um, spiders that we uh, were talking about come in uh, pre-configured kits. So it's always the one of the spiders and it comes with a, with a kit of three legs uh, of your choice. The three mini legs are always included in uh, one of those kits. So um, what you can do with um, this, this selection of different legs is you have like a four-in-one tripod kit. You have the big tripod, you have a monopod, you have the macropod, and you have the leaning pod that, that Matt just introduced a little little earlier well you have the choice of just inserting one of the mini legs or using two of the mini legs instead so it's it's totally up to you that's uh that's the kits that we uh that we have created to make it easier for you to just enter this this system okay let's ca let's time. call it demo time we have we've created a little a little video why don't you just uh, start the little video all of the options you see here work with everything. Uh, I, I say everything. Some accessories are unique to the spider that you have, but some of them, most of the things, the legs will screw into all of these options. So here we have the different spiders again, the Pro 75, the M, the Balance, the Tria pod and the basic pod, the different leg models. We have the suction cups. We have the clamp mount. It's good to see the different sizes next to each other. You can understand. Exactly. These are the bigger legs that uh, are are perfect for the Triopod Pro 75, even though you can use the smaller legs on the Pro 75 as well. But if you mm -hmm. want the utmost instability, uh, we recommend to use the big legs with the Pro 75, of course. Here we have the, the leaning pod. And it, here again, two of the hiking sticks attached to a trio pod. The different working heights that we can achieve by using different legs. Here, just three sectional legs which give us the greatest height. That's our uh, macro tripod. And before you stood on it. <laughs> exactly, before I stood yeah. on it. And uh, you just saw it, I just unscrew the individual legs and just convert the mini macro tripod into a standard tripod. So 
So it's that easy. And by the way, the, the upper thread that uh, connects the legs to uh, the tripod sp spider always have a quarter inch thread. So each of the legs will always or can always be used as a monopod as well because uh, the leg can will thread directly into your camera as well, as you can see here. So all the kits come with the monopod adapter. Plate or a ball head on top. Exactly. It's it's that easy. Yeah. Okay, now now we convert the tripod to the leaning part. We just uns we just unscrew two of the big legs and replace them with the mini macro legs. And again, it's totally up to you if you if you want to use just one of the mini macro legs or two of the mini macro legs, that's totally up to you. Um, all of the legs come with um, a stainless steel spike that can be unscrewed as well. And it sits right underneath this rubber cap here. Don't tell the TSA. <laughs> So that's the uh, big. Uh, New trio that's pod the newest M. edition. That's the TrioPod M, exactly. That has the right. center column, and of course, the center column can be removed and inserted okay. from the other side again. Okay, what we just saw was the TrioPod M. We had removed the center column and replaced it with the um, ground adapter for ground level work. Now we have the TrioPod Pro 75 again. You can see how we can flip around the legs by almost 180 degrees. Okay, let's go a little further. That's another interesting leg. That's the hiking stick that we had mentioned earlier. And as you can see, it can be folded. So if you need to have a very compact tripod with you, you can just fold them and store them in any any bag that you might carry. And as mentioned earlier, if you want to put them to use, if you want to use them as a tripod leg, you just remove the handle and it, underneath it has the standard quarter inch thread again. And as seen different times before, it's just screws into one of the leg connectors, use two of them to form a tripod again. Uh, we got a good question from the chat. Sure, uh, please. Some of the legs on some of the sections have stripes. Yep. What are those stripes used for? Well, if you want to um, set a different working height over and over again, you can just uh, use them to align the individual legs um, to that particular height. So um, think of them as kind of a ruler, something Reference like that. Marks. Mm -hmm. Yep. Reference marks. A graduated scale. Okay. Yep. That's what I use them for. Well, that was the... Um, modular camera support system from Novoflex in action. I think um, some of you, if not all, have got a, a good picture of how, how and what you can achieve with uh, the Novoflex tripod system or the camera support system. So if you, if you got any questions, please let us know in the chat. Please ask as much as possible. Uh, we're here to, to answer each and every question you might have. In the chat, I see, um, I see the following. Uh, we answered what the stripes are. Um, we have a lot of encouragement out there. Uh, appreciation for explaining. I think we forgot to mention the load capacity of the individual tripod base units. Maybe we just uh, let people sure. know what the uh, different spiders are capable of, of, of carrying. So the, um, the small trio pod... It's this one here that perfectly paired with the uh, Classic Ball 3 or Magic Ball uh, 50 can support loads up to 55 pounds. And the uh, Trio Balance, so the one with the integrated leveling unit, can support loads up to 22 pounds. 
so a little little less. And the uh, newest addition to the system, the TrioPod M, the one with uh, the integrated center column, uh, will support loads um, up to 66 pounds uh, when used without the center column. And when used with the center column, it's... Uh, it drops to 22 pounds. And uh, I think uh, for the big boy, the Toyota Pod Pro 75, we already mentioned the 140 pounds, right? Crazy. Crazy, but true. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but those, those, those long lens cameras can provide a lot of torque, um, even if you center mount them. Uh, and the, when you get into video, there's so many accessories that have to be with the camera that the weight just increases. And I'm just, I'm just going to add this. It's not always about how much it can hold uh, because how it can hold, what it can hold when everything is dead center over the spider is an indication. It's an engineering number, right? Um, but it's how much vibration can it absorb while you're using it, either received from the outside, from the ground or from wind uh, or from use received from touching it because you might be panning or tilting and it's not always just still photographs, right? Or you might have a device on top like a star tracker uh, or a motion tracker. And when it moves and it stops, you want that vibration to dissipate as quickly as possible. And that's where those load capacities come in. And the engineering here is it is its ability to take that energy and put it elsewhere so the tripod can just be still again. Good point. Thanks for the explanation. Well, do we have any more questions here in the chat? Um, we uh, have somebody asked the, about what the website is. We have the website. We have yep. the UK website. Mm -hmm. Okay, interested. Harut is asking uh, in about the copy stand. He's interested in the copy stand. I think you mentioned earlier that you're using some parts of the Pro 75 in the center column uh, as a copy stand. Would you just explain how, which parts uh, you could buy sure. to achieve that? Sure. So um, um, I need to level quickly when I'm shooting things that are Plano parallel, some things that are square to my camera. Um, and when I sometimes I shoot uh, antique art screens, they can be six panels wide. They could be almost 10 feet long. So I have to back up off of that. And they're on a surface that's not always level. Um, so I need to go from a wide view of something shot at a very high resolution to coming in upon it to do, you know, medium details to coming in upon it again to do extreme macro details. So that the imaging support system that I have to use has to be as flexible as I change lenses, I change positions, I change heights. And the more time I can save, the more objects I can, I can reproduce with uh, repeatability. So most of the time I am, I'm vertical and the objects are vertical. Sometimes I set up the tripod and it's at its tallest and reverse it so that it's pointing down. So everything fits within the tripod legs. I can guarantee that things are more parallel that way. Sometimes the humans can't hold these objects as still as they should. So we do that instead. And it just changed the lighting to match. Um, with macro, uh, macro, it's, it's all about being in the right place and without touching your objects, right? So um, it really depends on what I'm doing, whether I can lean up against something or not, or if I have to be completely supported on the ground or if I clamp off on something. So that's why I have the options. I can I can use any of those options and they just come with me. I hope that helps. Well, well thank you, Matt. Hey, and Tom is asking, mention was made of a bag that carries a tripod. Was it a special bag or just a demo of how the tripod can be torn down? Oh, I, I have the, the bag that came with the TrioPod Pro 75. Yes, all the all the kits that we assembled uh, come in a bag, in a tripod bag. Um, I think that's what you were, what you are referring to, Tom. Is that is that right? I, mean, I have, I have that right here. E and this, exactly. This bag is as tall as the tripod can be with its tallest accessories. Exactly. With a pocket, a gusset pocket on the side for your your other accessories. You don't want to bang around on the inside. 
Okay, I think that answers Tom's question. And Harut uh, is asking about our MS Repro, the Repro column. Okay, so that's uh, that's a completely different topic, Harut. But uh, why don't you just um, oh. shoot us an email, get in touch with Brenda, and um, yeah. or or even with me, and um, she will she will uh, let you know anything you you want to know about the. Uh, a uh, repro column that we have in our assortment. Uh, Tom, thanks for the follow-up there. You said in regard to carrying it on a plane, my, my personal preference, sorry for smacking my mic there, is a Shimoda uh, backpack. It's 60 liters. Um, so that backpack has interchangeable inserts. You can check out S-H-I-M-O-D-A. You can check them out on the web. Um, they're for people that like to spend a lot of time outdoors and perhaps do a lot of hiking. Um, so that's the bag where I can end up putting everything on the inside because it has enough interior space, but it's just the right size to fit an overhead with most most planes. So I'll post I'll post a link too. Okay, so I think we we've covered pretty much everything. We've answered all the questions. Matt, do you have any closing comments? Thanks for doing what you do, Martin. I mean, you guys, it, it, it might sound gratuitous, but I'm, I'm absolutely sincere. I love it when a good product is done well, uh, and it helps me achieve the things that I have to achieve better. And that's, uh, that's uh, where it comes from. Our pleasure. Well, then, everybody that's, that's here with us, Thanks for being interested in photography and thanks for being interested in a camera support system that's certainly unique out there. Well, Matt, thanks for your time. Thanks for being my interview partner. My pleasure. So, and well, I would say... Thanks, thanks to Brenda for helping out in the chat. Yes, thank uh, you very much, Brenda. And, and everybody who attended, we appreciate you. We will send you a follow-up email. If you have any questions, please reply to that or uh, reach out to us via the contact form on our website, novaflexus.com. Uh, and if you have any questions about a purchase or a configuration of a system or accessories, please reach out to us. We'd be delighted to help. Exactly. Okay. Bye. Take care.